Soundstripe. Soundstripe. I got my head out this sunroof I'm blasting my favorite tunes I only got one thing on my mind Take it to the tune-up planet, don't you? When that air condition is not blowing out, you call the air condition guy to come out and fix it, right? Well, sometimes we have to talk to somebody, okay? Amen. Let me share something that's very, very painful, but I want to share it because a lot of times, you know, you come up here and you go to talking, but sometimes I have to just say, well, go out, what do you want me to say? Yeah. I have my executive assistant is mourning right now. She's mourning because someone very close to her took their life. Mm. And right now she's dealing with the fact of saying, it's something I could have done. Mm. It's something that I could have done. It's my fault. I should have been able to see the signs. You will never see the signs, okay? We as communities of color, have to embrace the fact that we have to have safe spaces to let people know when we're hurting because it is rooted in pain. Nobody gets up one morning and just says, let me take my life. That's not how it goes. They want the pain to stop. And so what I say to you, beloved community, is have those conversations, create those safe spaces, Faces. When you got everything from gang violence to people that are out of jobs to people that are dealing with homelessness, that people are dealing with dysfunctionality, people are dealing with something every day. To look at me, I know I'm the finest thing since wine. You better don't say mean, it. That don't mean I ain't dealing with something. Amen. So what I tell you, my beloved community, is let's have more of this and when you walk away from it walk away with the mindset that you're just going to have a smile a smile is a form of charity sweetie you look so cute in that purple shirt mm. 
You understand what I'm saying? It goes a long just way. Just have a conversation. Give a compliment. Just say, how was work today, baby? You see what I'm saying? So we can let people know that it's safe for them to tell us what's going on with them. If you walk away from this health and wellness affair just knowing that you need to give a listening ear, I'm not saying a venting ear, there's a difference. See, a venting ear, if I tell you something, I don't expect when I get to work Monday morning for everybody to know what I told you. See, that's a venting ear. We need a listening ear. We need the ear Well, you just need to show some empathy and then you need to have a conversation and say, you know what, Lisa, you know what, get some counselor, baby. I'll go with you. In fact, I found the resource. In fact, I called Fulton County Commissioner's Office, 404-612-8222. I promise if you can't talk to nobody else, you can talk to Commissioner Kadisha. So please understand, beloved community, this was great, but we need to walk away knowing that we've got to help each other. we got to make sure that we take care of our brother and sister. I cried because I had no shoes until I saw a man that had no feet. And so when I say to you today, please continue to work together for the beloved village. Please continue to take the resources that were offered today. I, can you put your hands together for all our vendors and all of our collaborators that took the time to come today to make sure that you had the resources. And on that note, I'm gonna tell you this. I love you and there is absolutely not a thing you can do about it. Amen. Commissioner your Karen Commissioner, you're absolutely in the street commissioner, but baby, 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 you're fighting, fighting commissioner. Take care, I love you. Thank you.